Hi, this will be the final video for this project that I started a while ago and those of you who are new to my tutorials or to this project I was trying to transform this image into this one and you might have noticed that the thumbnail looks a little bit different this is because I flipped the background and you see how this changes the image and maybe you can tell me which one do you like better in the comment section with the original background or when it's flipped I spent too much time working on the original background and now this looks fresh to me so let me know which one do you prefer I'm also going to upload both of them on the Facebook page so you can check them out on a higher quality I'm also putting links on the video to each part of this tutorial in the first part I added this sun in the middle of the sky second part I added the lion in the third part I did the text and in the next two parts I did the shadow of the text and also some editing on the front text layer and I also added this giraffe and this bird and I'm not going to make tutorials about that because I did it the same way as I did the lion nothing different here again I used a layer mask and the brush tool let me turn off the layer mask on the giraffe and on the bird so you can see the original images and this one is actually flipped I used the flip tool just like I did the lion and that's it for this project I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and now I want to show you what I'm going to do next I'll be doing this pool table vector graphic top view and I'm going to do this project in my Inkscape tutorials channel Inkscape is again free and open source software like GIMP but it's for vector graphics I'll be doing this table mainly in Inkscape but also some parts of it like the pool balls I'll be doing in GIMP and I'm going to show you how to cut textures and replace these parts let's say with wooden textures and I know that a lot of people are not interested in vector graphics but they are becoming more and more popular and another thing what you can do in a vector graphics editor like Inkscape sometimes it's so much easier compared to doing in GIMP so it's good to know both softwares and take advantage of them so that's it for this video I hope you subscribe and like it I'll be working on a new interesting project for my GIMP tutorials and I'll be doing this table in my Inkscape tutorials channel. So that's it for now. Bye.